watch and learn. Hey everybody. So tonight I want to discuss uh, Marcus Nispel's 2003 remake of uh, Toby Hooper's 1974 horror classic, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now this Texas Chainsaw Massacre was significant, well at least it was significant for me and I think it was significant for most people because Jessica Biel, Jessica Biel, who of course was Mary Camden from Seventh Heaven at this point, and Seventh Heaven for anybody that doesn't know, it's a really self-righteous, very clean, very high on itself, um, religiously focused show from the 90s about a pastor and his family who believe they're better than everybody and they go around sort of imposing their religious will on everybody in the little town where they uh, exist. And so Mary Camden, the character squeaky clean, well, not really squeaky clean, Mary Camden, she wrecks her gym once her coach bans her from playing basketball because she wasn't doing her homework. So Mary Camden's a little out of control. But that was the, one of the bigger things for this was the fact that Jessica Biel from Seventh Heaven was going to be in the Texas Chainsaw remake. And nobody really bought it until the movie came out. And the movie was actually really good. And I loved everything about this. I mean, uh, I believed Leatherface. I liked the bit of the history that we got to know. We got to find out more about the Hewitts, and I absolutely loved that Arlie Ermy was involved. I mean, you get the drill sergeant from Full Metal Jacket in here with his incredibly, his incredible, sorry, ability to be so verbally abusive. He's got that gift, and we've all known that since 87 with, uh, which way should I, s yeah, I'll stand here. We've known that since I think 87 or so when he was in Full Metal Jacket. So the fact that they got him involved as a, a member of the Hewitt clan, that was amazing. And I liked the Hewitts. I did sort of agree with what uh, Gunnar Hansen said. He said that he didn't love it from the, the perspective that they have to explain everything away. These remakes have a tendency to sort of overdo the history of the family and things like that. And they do attempt to shoehorn a, a backstory in, whereas it's not really necessary. So I could understand where Gunnar Hansen was coming from, but I did like what Nispel and company did with the Hewitts. I believed it. And the new house, the house that they found, apparently the house was just legitimately sitting there abandoned wherever they were filming this in Texas. That house is terrifying. It's amazing looking and the way that they have it lit at night. I mean, Marcus Nispel, he was a really successful music director who transferred over into film and I think this might have been his first big budget project, not really sure, but he nailed it. Like this movie is violent, it's gory, it's memorable. When they got the one dude hooked up on the, the chandelier and then Leatherface puts the chainsaw up him, I'm never gonna forget that. The girl pulling the gun out of her snatch at the start, I'm never gonna forget that. I mean, they, they said too in the making of that there was no way that they're gonna be able to sort of recreate the iconic hitchhiker from the beginning of the original. There was no way they were going to be able to touch that craziness. So they decided to do their own thing. And fuck, did they ever. With that one shot that, that the camera pulls back through the hole in the chick's head after she's committed suicide as everybody's freaking out and throwing up in the van after they had to witness her suicide. I thought that was incredible. Like I said, the violence was amazing. I believed the Hewitts. The tone is correct. And Jessica Biel nails it. Like, I believe her in this. I don't see her as being Mary Camden. Now, of course, I did grow up watching Seventh Heaven because I love that show. I still watch it now. It's so cringy, especially the arc concerning her character later on in the show when Mary goes off the deep end and she... Oh, I should do a series of videos on that. But anyways, check out Seventh Heaven if you want like a total 90s religious cringe fest. But check this out if you actually want a really decent remake where its heart and everything was in the right place. Even the packaging for this was amazing. The package rolled out and it made a chainsaw and it came with all the photos of all the evidence like the chainsaw and the eyelashes, I mean the, the, the eyelids, sorry, and the teeth and everything. And they, they came with a bunch of police evidence cards as well as a steel front, steel thing that was on the front of the movie. I don't know what the hell that's called. But look, I'm going to stop talking. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little over five minutes while I discussed Marcus Nispel's 2003 remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like always, if you like this review or you like this movie, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But most importantly, please don't forget that the world is actually a better place because you're in it. Like always, I'm taking off. Have a good night.